Hey friends, Zach Sanchez here. I apologize for the movie on the go, but there's no length that I won't go to really prove a teaching point. So today, I wanted to talk about toxic relationships, so I wanted to come get on an elevator. <laughs> Ironically, I hate elevators too. I'd much rather take the stairs. But as I came to the mall to get on the elevator, as luck would have it, the door is locked. But have no fear. I can still convey the point without actually getting on the elevator. So what does toxic relationships or complacent relationships have with an elevator? Commonality. And I want to express this through a story of mine. So I dated a girl for about two years. She had two small kids, great girl, great kids. I went from being single to having a family like that. And so for about two years, I was in this relationship, and I really thought that's what I wanted. Until one day, I, I started to slow down enough to really look at the results I had in my life. At the time, my car had broken down, so I went with, without a car for a year. While I was in that relationship, I would walk to work an hour one way, an hour back. And you're talking dead in winter, northwest Indiana, 4.30 in the morning, getting up, walking to work. And as I started to consider these things, I started to realize that this relationship was holding me back. Not only that, I think it was holding her back as well because I wasn't showing up in her life the way she needed someone to show up in her life. So I eventually left the relationship in, in short order, in no time at all, I went from having no car and nothing to having a car an apartment fully furnished, not one but two careers that I, that I love. So what does that have to do with the elevator? You see, a bro, an elevator in toxic relationship, or a toxic relationship is a lot like an elevator because when you get into an elevator, you, you expect it to take you to the next level, right? You expect it to take you higher. And our relationships in life are like that as well. You see, the relationships in your life have the power to make your life miserable or magnificent. And the way you make your life magnificent is having relationships that take you higher. So when you're in a toxic relationship, that's like stepping into an elevator that's out of order or will only go to a certain number of floors, but you're trying to go higher. Okay? And in order for you to get to the next level, you have to be able to get out of that elevator. You have to be able to leave that relationship in order to really take off. Now, when I talk about this idea, people get, it, it's tough for people because they think that I'm saying the people, the people they're in a relationship with are bad or there's something wrong with them. And that's not the case. There's nothing wrong with the people in your life per se, but if they're not allowing you to grow to your full capacity, then you, then you have to cut back the time you spend in their life. Because if they're holding you back, chances are you might be holding them back as well. Okay? So what relationships in your life are holding you back? What relationships in your life aren't allowing you to really grow to the level you want to grow to? You can't kid yourself. You can't get to the next level in life by yourself and with shitty relationships. Have you ever noticed that you might make a new friend or you start hanging out with somebody new and it's not long after that you might start talking like them. You might start, you might start having some of the same mannerisms as they do. Well, why is that? That's because when you spend enough time with someone, you start to embody them. You, they start to rub off on you, right? So if you have toxic relationships that aren't taking you to the next level, you've got to cut the time you're spending there. You don't have to remove them completely, but you don't want to spend the majority of your time in there. If it's a remote romantic relationship, you're going to attack it a little different than if it's just a friendship. It's easier for you to check out of a friendship and, and kind of pull back time-wise than it is to, let's say, jump out of a relationship. But you have to be brutally honest with yourself and ask yourself, is this relationship moving me higher or is it pulling me down? Because if it's pulling you down, then you deserve to 
to go out and find something that can take you higher, to take yourself higher. And the person you are with deserves to be in a relationship where someone where they do take them higher to whatever level that is. So, toxic relationships are a lot like a damn broken elevator. you got to get out of them if you want to go to the next level. If you don't want to go to the next level, then just camp out in that elevator. No big deal. But if you want to get to the next level, and you have a desire to get to the next level, then you have to, you must, get out of that elevator and find one that's in working order. Okay? The... The road to success, the road to the next level is paved with other people. You're not going to get there by yourself. You have to be able to bring a healthy elevator for somebody else, and you have to be able to get on somebody else's healthy elevator that's working and that can take you to the next level. All right, friends, this is Zach Sanchez on the go at the mall trying to get in the elevator. It didn't work. Hopefully, hopefully I've painted that picture for you. Get out of those broken elevators. Trust me, if you're in toxic relationships, if you have toxic relationships around you, try to spend a little more time outside of those relationships and watch your life change. Seek out better relationships. I'm telling you, your life will change. You won't be the same. Until next time, friends, this is Zach Sanchez. Looks like the sun's going down. I'm out. Bye-bye.